Yeah, you're with DXB today. Great to have your company this evening. Uh, I'm going to mention two words. Don't turn off. Jitex and Northstar. Okay, stay with us. Why? Because we're using that as a reason to talk about all things entrepreneurial spirit, entrepreneurs, startups, tech, and much, much more. And our next guest uh, is somebody who co-founded Hexatime itself, a digital marketplace where users trade expertise with a time currency, supporting business effectiveness through knowledge sharing uh, and, of course, collaboration. Please welcome Hesham Abdullah. Hesham, thank you so much indeed for being with us. My pleasure, man. Nice to meet you. Hands up, if I may. I'm going to need some help with this one, okay? So, traders, using users trade ex expertise with a time currency. That's the sort of, that's the, 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 the main body of your business and what you do. Can you explain it to me, please? Sure, yeah, of course, no worries. It's probably best to explain with a bit of a story, really. So, I'm a, I'm a pediatrician, startup founder, and entrepreneur, or maybe an intrapreneur, mm -hmm. also about to uh, launch our product in, in Jitex. And, and the, the innovation that I'm bringing is this kind of idea of time banking. So, and it's probably most easily kind of summarized with this kind of niche, niche full phrase, give an hour, get one back. So say for example, you and I were next door neighbors. I could help you mow your lawn, say for an hour. You give me a credit. Next time I need some help, maybe not from you, but from my other neighbor, I can use that credit to, to pull in a favor to get some babysitting done, say that's what I need. So that's the kind of principle behind time banking and that's ages old, you know, goes back probably since the dawn of mankind. Mm. But what we, we've done is really use that same principle but applied it not for social skills but professional skills. So in, in my world, for example, in, in healthcare, I might need uh, a data analyst to, to help look at my healthcare outcomes. And I don't have anyone like that in my team, but I know there is probably someone in even my organization, even down the corridor who might have that skill mm. and if I could use this funny money this credit to bring them in to support that and thereby they get a credit and that, that, that gives them the the kudos or the ability to, to get more support elsewhere mm. that's really how it works and and the beautiful thing about it is that it's it's asset rather than deficit based because you know you might not think you've got much to offer but there's always something that you can do for someone else mm. and therefore it adds in this kind of pay it forward concept which helps build connections, communities, collaboration, and importantly, breaks down the silos that we see in pretty much any organization. So although it works in healthcare, it probably could work anywhere else. Lovely. Mm. Lovely. Yeah. You know, I think the most powerful thing about concepts or innovations like this is how it's able to go across the board and help as many industries as possible. It's what we were speaking about earlier, Paul. Uh, so what industries in particular do you see Hexatime really benefiting? Okay, so where it's, it's kind of gone first, because this is my industry, has been in healthcare. So we've got, back in the UK, lots of NHS organisations doing using it now. We've got thousands of hours exchanged all on, on in healthcare institutions. And then kind of by coincidence, really, my, my co-founder was doing his MBA at uh, a major university back in the UK, and he mentioned this platform. And they said, well, this is pretty good and, and probably better than our current collaboration platform. You should pitch for it. And so he, he proposed Hexitime to uh, Warwick Business School and, uh, you know, surprised us, but we, we landed that, that project. And now, rather than connecting nurses, doctors, managers, we're connecting students, faculty, alumni, local business, building entrepreneurship amongst that community in a way that had never done, been done before. So it's a lot of it is around kind of gamifying and, and about bringing that credit in and using that to incentivize connections and collaborations within that sector but even the between industries or between sectors. So there's huge potential in, in the way that works. Speaking of gamifying and bringing in other technologies, I'm curious, have you thought about how you connect this maybe to crypto? Mm -hmm. I almost hate myself for asking this, but you could, <laughs> you could tokenize sure. these time units. Is it something that you think would bring benefit to the user? And that's the exciting thing about being here in, in Dubai now, I mean, and, and incorporating here. It gives us the opportunity to access, you know, blockchain kind of technology in a way that we haven't even thought of before and thereby codifying that credit and allowing you to have that time bank literally that you could then utilize in all sorts of other ways. So absolutely that's part of our roadmap and an an exciting thing that probably couldn't happen outside Dubai actually in, in a way that we, we we're really looking at growing it. So for sure. I'm really interested I'm listening in and I'm desperately gonna try and vocalize this question because even I can't explain it in my head. Is it regulated in some way like within not as in like yeah. a, a governing body but like you know tom yeah. could ask me to do yeah. an hour of something that far outweighs the yeah. hour of something back yeah, yeah true and and actually this is a really important question and, and to some degree <laughs> you've hit the nail on the head here because it's got this really 
interesting and important dynamic, which is one hour equals one credit. So irrespective of your gender, your ethnicity, the number lettered after your name, it's the same. It's that skill. And therefore, it's equalizing in a way that probably doesn't happen in, in many places. And, and I can say, even if I talk about in my industry, where there's real steepness in hierarchy. Mm. And actually, by leveling that platform, suddenly you allow openness and conversation that could never happen before. So you're actually touched on something that is intrinsic to the value that it brings to individuals. And, and the second thing that it also interesting, which probably speaks to what you, you were saying there, mm. is that one of the mo most common questions people ask is how can I validate his skill, right? You know, he says he's an expert. I was going to say this, how do you prevent <laughs> sandbagging? Yeah. Exactly, <laughs> that's right. But what's really interesting, we've had thousands of hours exchanged in Hextime now. And what is it's delighted me is that we've not had anyone come back to me and say, I've had a bad exchange. I mean, for the most part, people's expectations are exceeded, you know, because it actually generates um, generosity and kindness in a way which perhaps is, it was unpredictable even for me as a co-founder. So, um, yeah, so it actually helps build that connection. Almost out of time, but not before you give us a bit of a shout out. Hexit time at Jitex this year. When people make their way onto the stand, what can they expect? Okay, so we've got some big announcements coming up in terms of collaborations we're going to be making with big healthcare organizations here in, in Dubai, the Global Feel Neuropower free to Society. Oh, it's got a, it's a little bit a little bit of a teaser. So some big collaborations happening. We've got some new software as well that we're gonna kind of launch. So it's gonna be great. So come to the Hextime store, come and have a chat and we can think about how you as individuals can be part of this global movement. So really I love excited. it. Hesham, I wish you the best of luck for Jitex. It's going to so be much. absolutely fantastic for you. And thank you so much for coming on to DXP today. Thank, thank you so much. <laughs>